In a rare break with tradition, the Pope's making the journey without his second in command. Secretary of State Cardinal Angelo Sedano is staying in Rome to keep abreast of international developments following the terrorist strikes. Pope John Paul insisted on proceeding with the trip despite security concerns. A helicopter flew him to the airport where he boarded an Alitalia flight for Kazakhstan. He's expected to speak of the need for peace and tolerance during his four-day visit. As his plane landed in Astana, the band played and children dressed in national costume waited expectantly. But the frail 81-year-old pontiff looked weary after his six-hour flight from Rome. He walked slowly down the steps from his plane with aides close by. Kazakh president Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, who invited the religious leader, was there to greet him. An honor guard stood to attention. Thousands of Catholic pilgrims from Russia and Central Asia are expected in Astana for open-air masses on Sunday and Monday. But John Paul's first stop was at a memorial to those exiled to the harsh Kazakh steppes and imprisoned in Soviet labor camps under Joseph Stalin. Hundreds of thousands perished, but many of those who survived, including Poles and Ukrainians, were expected to flock to see the Pope.